back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a vlog and another one. I'm gonna be here for like 14, 15 days. We arrived two days ago. Nothing was interesting yesterday. We're gonna be doing a vlog because she's like, this is a special place. Look at this. It is a very special place. It's the island that gives me my color. Why am I half black? This island. Um, but yeah. Today we're at Rome d'Amoiseau, which is like uh, Guadeloupe. Oh, hello. So yeah, today we're at Rum Damoiseau. It's like a rum distillery, but like Guadeloupe is very well known for its rum. I always thought that it was a black person that created this rum, but my mom just told me that no, it was a white person. So I've just talked out of my boots. I um, mean, yeah, so we're gonna visit this today. And at least this vlog might be better quality because my brother's gonna be my videographer. You just don't have a choice. And so shout out to him for that because he's just gonna film. He's gonna film everything because I'm too lazy. But yeah, let's go. Let's enjoy and we're gonna go up this Moulin, how do you call it? I don't know, I'm long, long, let's go. seen them I'm taking without the tag on them. Look at how many there are. Look. Look at that. Look at that. It contains. Oh, and all of this as well. And all of that. There's just so many. Made it to the restaurant, guys. This was a restaurant we went to three years ago. To show. We were here, we got like an amazing pina colada, but at that point I was not of the legal age to drink. So it was only my pina mom. Colada. And so this time I will be getting a pina colada. Look at this. My mom's food. <laughs> <laughs> Just fish. And I think I showed you we have colombo of like oh, lamb, yeah. doll. And uh, that's manioc, banana that you can cook, I don't know how you call it in English, and then rice. All of this is kind of Indian influence, but yeah. Okay, so we just got to Pont de Chateau. I have my cap on, just in case it rains so it can protect my hair. So it's basically it's like a 20 to 30 minute maybe hike, so like we put hiking boots on. I don't know if I told you guys, but I lost my suitcase, like, Paris Charles de Gaulle have not given me my stuff back yet, so I need to buy, I have to buy everything new. So everything I'm wearing right now is new, literally every single thing. We're gonna go up there to this little box in the next 20 to 30 minutes by walk. Yeah. There's all of the sea. But like, do you see how disgusting it is in the sea? That's that, I guess. I don't know how you call that in English, but it stinks and it's, it's, it's like, basically algae. It's like algae, but it's stinky. Yeah, it's bad. But yeah, look at that, it's cute. And then look at that, guys. There's like a rope as well. That goes all the way down. It's a really nice, like, landscape. It's really interesting to see in, like, two different, like, atmospheres, because this one's kind of an ominous, like, for the an, an apocalypse situation. And the last time we did it was, like, full, like, sun, like, we were burning. Yeah. Very different. Cool. So that, I really like it when they blend like the, the light dust out through the clouds. It's really, really nice. Look at that, we're at the sunset and it's so nice. And like, we're like walking on these things. I'm so happy that I got walking shoes. And look at how like clear this water is. I don't know if you can see how clear, like there's so many like Bernard Lermite, I don't know, like all of these little things here are like little animals. And I don't think you can see like this fish here. You can see fish as well. I feel so at peace. It's so nice. I think I just love the water. I think I just love the water. I think I literally just love being around the beach. I think that gives me just the most inner peace or like lakes and stuff like that. It's just, it's just so peaceful. It's so nice. It's been a while since I was, since I felt like 
fully at peace. I think I have having a glimpse of it today. Having a glimpse of it today. But yeah, it's cool. I'll be grateful for that. Look at the sunset. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. And the sound of the waves, though, to love. It's now day two. We had a very, very, very slow morning last morning just because we were like wanting to enjoy the company of my grandfather and just like have a chill day. But it's Sunday and we like are now going to like this museum thing, which is like about slavery and the history of the island. I think it's important for us to go to this museum and understand a little bit more about like our history and our ancestors and stuff like that. Just because they are ancestors and all of my family on my black side is from this island, so and like understand what they went through and yeah like the place the museum is actually located in like a nice area on that side on the other side a bit more questionable hi guys today is day three in guadalupe um it's currently 7 53 a.m my parents woke us up at like seven because we're going to like do like a two little two hour walk on the beach i think and like around the beach and stuff like that in the morning so that's gonna be quite fun and quite cool but also today like um how do you call it a neighbor came round and gave us some food so like he gave us bananas he gave us manioc which is a type of like it's not potato but it's like potato e but like comes from the ground you just like scoop it out and then we have a watermelon and then we have avocados aguacates look at how big they are i just love avocados these ones are not ready i think this one is a little is soon to be ready this one as well, and the rest are like hard, hard as rocks. My father just pointed them out that they seem to be like taking the wind and so they have to kind of grow that way because the wind is always like blowing on them. Quite interesting and you can see that one as well. Look at that. Just grows in an interesting and new way. But yeah, I put sunscreen on as well because I'm just, it's, the sun up behind me is just hitting a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to walk along the beach for a bit and then get back to the house. Look at this dude. <laughs> Three, three raindrops of water fall down and she's wearing her hat and putting her, her hair in like a little tight, tight, tight space so that so that her hair won't get wet because she's lazy as hell. A little food break for the hungry little gremlin. There's some baguettes, some pain au chocolat, some croissants, some little baguettes and then some lazy bum and then some more different bread over there and some more lazy bum and then more food we went back home we got ready and all that and now we're going to the beach but first we're gonna like go to um like a restaurant uh called the bed which is like in kind of like this hotel kind of area and like it's like has a beach a beach view and a beach front thing so right now we're just searching for it it's really warm and also i have really bad timeline i don't know if you can see them I don't think they're that visible anymore, but I had a really, really bad time in life. I now have three different colors on my body. It's an interesting look. Hi, I think I said that we were going for kayaking, but I don't know what I said. Anyways, so we're currently, we like, we just kayaked all the way from over there. We currently just arrived at the first stop. There's two stops. There's one here, where like, I'll show you just in a second, but you can see. It's 
really, really nice view behind me. But yeah, I wanted to show you the rest of the sun. I'm really trying to get used to how to use the camera. Basically, that's the view. And I really don't know what you can see because I really don't know how to use this camera. But enjoy the view. It is so peaceful. I'm currently violently at peace. It's really cool. Okay, guys, we arrived to the second destination of like this kayak thing, and like there's since I've like sat down, there's like fish. You're like so close to me. There's like fish all around, and it's so cute. I mean, they're all the same. They're not like the coolest fish, but they're. I'm not gonna insult them because they're literally just that's fine. Um, but like they just keep on coming out all the time, and they get to like 10 centimeters close to me. Like the view is really really nice. Like in this little like thing that's like fully like protected by. Like, the, Quite exciting, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually quite exciting. I'm not flying, but I find it quite exciting. We need a vlog yeah. reaction. It How do you? Great. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have photos? No, yeah, I'm on. And then they just kept on the hey, 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 in English, por favor, no fue bien entender. We went to go see uh, <laughs> Pont des Châteaux. Yeah. We went around it. And, uh, we saw La Douche. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. To to. We flew above uh, water, like ocean, above land. It was very fun. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You happy? Good. You look so happy. <laughs> Hi, guys, and welcome to, what is it, day six, day seven? of uh, this little vlog in Guadeloupe and today we're going on the Soukrier so we're like in walking gear and stuff like that we just arrived at like 9 I wanted to arrive here at like 8 but late but yeah, just gonna walk for like an hour and 45 minutes we're hoping that the weather's gonna be on our side just because the weather is really really changing here really quickly so currently the top of the volcano that we're going at um, is completely, completely in clouds. So we're just hoping that by the time we get there, things will have moved and like evolved in the right way. Okay guys, we're like starting the actual ascent now. Um, we arrived at the little like panel thing, like the little sign, and it says like very difficult, or like it says difficult for this one. Oh, and we saw this lady, she's like, yeah, I abandoned halfway through, it was so difficult, so. <sighs> We're gonna do what we can. Probably gonna put down the camera soon, just because I need to focus, but hopefully we make it to the top. I don't know if you can see the floor, is just rocks everywhere. But yeah. And like it's not watery. Cold, it's like cool. Yeah, it's like fresh. every single person that we that we see um, tells us, "Oh, good luck, good luck. It's really tough. It's really tough." And I'm, we're like all anticipating um, that the going down bit will be much harder than the going up, because it's quite steep. So having to see and like reach the rocks. But oh, for now we're gonna enjoy being in a cloud. Hopefully when we get up there, the cloud will have like gotten. One can only hope. I 
potentially look crazy. Anyways, we made it to the top. I'm wearing my brother's like rainbow. Almost, almost back to like the little flatter area. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. It's like a little prayer zone. We Guys, we made it. So we're at the bottom, back to the bottom. So that's the car there. We had like a, an amazing spot. Like we literally arrived and then like a car left and so that we had like one of the best spots in the park. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 